everyone. Um, let's dig deeper into Scaled module. Uh, today, um, uh, in this screencast, um, I like to introduce you videos and uh, video handling with many providers, uh, so you can see the, the power of uh, this module. Uh, so remember, in the last screencast, uh, we saw how to uh, configure and install Scalde and Scalde image. Uh, which allows you uh, to drag and drop um, uh, and add image uh, into uh, text areas, into fields uh, on Drupal nodes or entities. And uh, this is so easy. Let's say you have to insert an image here and uh, I don't have it in my library. So um, I want to create a new one um, using uh, maybe this one, upload it and say let's name this screencast mm -hmm. ok so here is my new image I can preview it and I can drag and drop it into my body you have it there. And uh, in the last screencast, I've showed you how to use the Atom reference, uh, which allows you to make some nice uh, order list of and uh, manipulate them after that. Uh, so let's save this node. Uh, I can see the new image and my gallery here uh, that I will film later. So now uh, I really need to insert a video here and I would like to use the, that scaled module. Uh, so let's do this very quickly and simply. Um, we need to uh, remember when I when I uh, I've told you in the last screencast uh, we had providers. So uh, we've already used the video pro uh, image provider, and now I like to use the video provider. Uh, this one was created when I installed the Scalde underscore YouTube module. Uh, so let's re-enable it just there in modules here you have Scalde YouTube uh, I did not in uninstall it so you, you saw a provider in the provider list and then uh, maybe I can make a quick demo here's my library you can notice the new uh, video add icon and now I can use this provider uh, this video provider which is called YouTube so let's go to YouTube okay and let's pick uh, maybe this one it's very simple paste the URL here and the magic happens here oh so I will only use the identifier so this makes a call to the YouTube API and it automatically downloads um, a thumbnail to make the representation and then we go finish and uh, in my library, I now have this video. I can preview it. Okay, nice. And then I can just drag and drop it here, just where I want it. And now here it is. Okay, so let's save this gallery. And now you have your video player and the content we already input. Uh, so let's be crazy and just enable the other video providers which are included in the, in the module. So uh, let's do video and Dailymotion, Vimeo and Dailymotion. Okay, really simple. Um, let's talk about context later. And now, uh, uh, maybe 
I want something. So now you can see that we have uh, another step on our form, which is the provider choice uh, for video atoms. So let's test with Vimeo. Okay, let's go to Vimeo. Okay. Okay, let's go with this one, dark side of the lens, just taking the ID. Okay, this is it. Uh, I forgot to, told, to tell you that um, the tags are, um, are automatically uh, taken from the provider, which can be Dailymotion tags, or Dailymotion offers, or Vimeo, or YouTube. Okay, and I have this one right here. Okay, and let's al also drag and drop it. And here we are with a beautiful AG player. Okay, maybe this one is too big. So here you are, and you can play it, and it's already already there and I won't make the demo for Dailymotion but it works exactly the same way so here you are you have videos you have images that you can drag and drop into rich text uh, areas fields or into reference fi references fields and then you can use them for other purposes so uh, in next screencast I will talk about um, per, uh, context configuration uh, in order to customize your rendering and uh, with other providers. So, see you later. Bye-bye.